Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and if you've been keeping up to date with the channel here, you'll see that I have installed Cyanogen Mod onto my Nexus 5, and Barry has done the same. Now, I've done a video on how to do that, and I'll link that down in the description down below, and I've also done a video for you guys on the features that I enjoy about Cyanogen Mod, but also some of the reasons as to why I'm going to be doing this video on how to go back to stock Android on my Nexus 5. Now I've been using Cyanogen Mod for just under a week now and there have been some features that I definitely do enjoy but there's also been some things that I've had some issues with for instance like the camera, apps crashing and things like that. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to get back to the stock version of Android that you've got. So you can see here that I am running Cyanogen Mod 11 which is the installer version but I'm going to be showing you guys how to wipe that completely using your Mac. Now it is very simple, a lot of people do it using a Windows computer um, just for ease of use and things and there are some applications you can get to do it all for you. We're going to to be doing some things in the terminal today on your Mac but I will be guiding you through it with my easy guide so do keep up to date with all the info that I've got here and I will put some written information in the description below to help out as well. Now the first thing you want to do with your device is power the device off completely and then you're going to reboot it into the start menu. Now this is very easy to do, all you're going to have to do is hold down on the volume down button and also on the power button to get into the menu itself. So once the phone is turned off, just hold on those two buttons and you'll be greeted with this screen. And from there on, you're pretty much done. You can see here that it does say that my bootloader is unlocked. I'm going to be showing you how to lock that as well. Um, all you now need to do is install the, sorry, insert the micro USB cable into your phone. And the rest of the stuff is going to be done using Terminal on the Mac. So let's head over to there now. Okay guys, so from here on out we're going to be using the terminal on the Mac. Now you will need to download the Unroot Nexus 5 file, for which I'm going to put a link down in the description below. On a Mac you just want to do Command Space to bring up the Spotlight Search, and then you want to just go on to the terminal from there. And from here onwards all we're going to be doing is entering some commands. So you've obviously got your phone plugged into the uh, computer, so you just want to do these commands as I do them now. So you want to start off with the CD Desktop. And you just want to click on enter and what that's going to do is going to let the terminal know that you want to access something from on the desktop. Now after that you want to do cd unroot nexus 5 and then again press enter so it knows you want to access that file which is on your desktop and then it gets a bit complicated so do follow along if you have any issues then pause the video and have a look but I will put something down in the description below that will give you guys a hand as well. So after you've done the unroot nexus 5 what you then want to follow up with is dot slash fastboot dash mac space flash space bootloader and then do space bootloader again and then what you want to do then is press tab and what it's going to do then is it's going to auto fill the next section for you from the unroot nexus 5 folder and then all you want to do after that is just press enter Next up we want to restart the bootloader because obviously we've changed some things. So again you want to do full stop slash fastboot dash mac space reboot dash bootloader. And then again with that you just want to press enter. What that's going to then do is it's going to completely restart the bootloader itself. Um, so obviously when you're install changing the things here within the terminal, obviously you're going to be changing things like the bootloader, the flash, the radios, etc. So you will want to reset it every now and then, which is what we're doing in between steps as you can see here. Now the next por portion after that is we want to install the radios for the actual phone itself. So again you want to do full stop dash fast boot dash mac space flash space radio space radio and then again you want to press tab and it's going to auto fill the next bit now this bit here where it says hammerhead is the code name for the nexus 5 um, so don't be concerned that you're installing something that you shouldn't be onto the device it's just going to be putting the original files back onto the phone for you now again because we've changed something you want to do dot slash fastboot dash mac dash sorry space reboot and then dash bootloader and then again, you just want to press enter with this one as well. And again, it's just going to restart the bootloader because also we've flashed some certain radios and things to it. As you can see here, I had some issues with the spelling and things. So do make sure that you get it right because it is crucial that these bits are correct so that it works as it should do. So then it's going to be rebooted. And then the next bit is going to be the main image of the actual software itself. So basically Android being put back onto your device as stock. So for this, again, all you want to be doing is just full stop dash fastboot dash mac space 
dash w space update space image and then you want to do uh, another dash and then again if you press tab it's then going to auto fill the next portion and all we want to do here again is click on enter and uh, now see this bit is going to take quite a long time to do and um, it can take between five and ten minutes um mine actually done it quite quickly but obviously what will happen is your phone will restart and you will be running the stock version of android it's going to be a slightly earlier version of android due to the uh zip file that i've asked you to download but again you can upload that and change that once you've actually got your device back up and running so you can see here that myself it took 104 seconds to do um, so you're looking at just over two minutes there to get that done and as you can see here the phone is now rebooting now you can see here that there is a padlock down the bottom of my screen and that means that the bootloader itself is still unlocked so after the phone has rebooted the next bit that we're going to be doing is just to lock the bootloader now once the phone has restarted you've got two options here you can either turn the phone off and again you need to be pressing the off button and power down to get back into that start screen that i mentioned before or you can set up your phone and then go through the unboot process again it is completely up to yourself now again guys for this next bit you just want to do the power off and volume down get to that start screen that I've mentioned previously and then plug the device back in. Now because I've closed my terminal and reopened it you will have to get back to the original Nexus 5 folder and um, which is very simple to do just follow the first two steps of this step-by-step uh, -step guide that I've been doing for you guys now. So you just want to do CD desktop and then enter and then once that's done you want to do CD unroot Nexus 5 and then again press enter. And then very simply, all you want to do is dot slash fastboot dash mac space oem space lock. And then what that's going to do is if you press enter, that's then going to lock the bootloader. So again, if you send it back to a carrier, LG or Google, they're not going to know you've tampered with your device at all. And that's pretty much going to do it guys, that's how you get from CyanogenMod or having a ROM or anything on your Nexus 5 to go back to stock Android. If I just pop into the settings here on my Nexus 5, you can see everything's back to as it was before. If I go into About Phone, I am running Android 4.4 KitKat, again you can upgrade that. Once you get your phone and everything set up, it will prompt you to install the update anyway to get back to 4.4.2. And everything to do with CyanogenMod is gone from the phone. So like I say guys, if you have any issues or any problems, do leave a comment down below. You can get hold of us at Copper vs Glass on Twitter and I'll be sure to answer as many questions as I can and give you guys a hand. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. This has been a look how to get your phone back to stock Android after having a ROM or Cyanogen mod or just being rooted in any way. And I will catch you guys in the next video.